What's up everybody? Welcome to Rex Engine. In this video, I wanted to walk you guys through a new feature coming in Rex Engine 1.36, which should be out um, probably early next week sometime. Uh, so that feature is the ability to add NPCs to your game. So if you think about NPCs from most games, they're characters that maybe they walk around, they're in town or whatever, and you approach them, and you press a button, and they have dialogue, and they talk to you. And they work very much the same way in Rex Engine. So the way they work is um, we can start it with an NPC from a template. So we can do that by opening up the Rex palette under Window, Rex Engine, Rex palette. And toward the top, there's an option called From Template. And if we expand that, there's a button there called NPC. And if we click on that, it's going to give us this brontosaurus looking dude with the trucker hat. And of course, like any other character in Rex Engine, you can change their sprites, you can change their animation, all of that is very standard toward the way Rex Engine works. And the one new component here is the NPC component, down here at the bottom. So to start with, let me show you guys what this looks like in action. So if I walk up to this guy, and press the up button, you can see he turns to face me, he's got a cool little animation where his mouth is moving, and he pops up this dialog box, which strangely enough says, Hi, I'm a friendly NPC. We can talk to this guy multiple times, and he can have different dialogues that he'll say every time we speak to him. You can have as many of those as you want. And he's going to make us think a little bit here. And we've hit the end of his dialogue, so he's going to keep repeating the final line that he said. But that's an option that I'll walk you through in a minute. So let's look at the anatomy of this NPC script. Um, so the first option here is, is dialogue enabled? Pretty straightforward. If we uncheck this box, the player will not be able to speak to them. The slots option, all that does is it holds a reference to the Rex actor. And it's going to use that to play, uh, to do things like play its talking animation. So the cool stuff starts with loop type here. Um, under loop type, we have looping, repeat final, and disable. So what this reference is, is when we get to the end of all of the dialogues they have, what does it do? Does it repeat the final line of dialogue? That's repeat final. Um, does it loop back to the first line of dialogue? and just play them all from the start again, that's looping. Or do you stop being able to talk to the NPC entirely? And that's disable. So for example, let's check out looping. Let me speed through this dude's dialogue really quick. So now, we should see that he'll loop back around to his Hi, I'm a friendly NPC line. There we go. Um, and I won't bother showing you guys disabled, but it's, it just means that you can't speak to the guy anymore after you hit the final line of dialogue. Um, so the talk animation. So you can slot an animation clip here and he'll play it when he's talking to you. Let me show you guys that. Um, I'll actually show you guys, I'll zoom in for that. So we can see this brontosaurus has um, just a default like animation where he'll just sit there ordinarily. Um, but when we're talking to him, he's got this thing where he's moving his mouth. Um, so you can make that, as always, any animation you would like. Um, you can set it up to loop or not to loop. All of these things are standard to Unity's animator. And so you can make that guy appear like he's talking to you when he speaks. And then as soon as the dialog box closes, he'll just go back to playing his previous animation. Um, starting dialogue. So this option here is, so we've got multiple different dialogues that'll, that'll play every time we speak to this guy. This is if we want it to start at a different dialogue other than the very first one. So for example, ordinarily he starts with the um, Hi, I'm a friendly NBC line. 
But if I set this to 1, it's all based on 0, so it starts at 0 normally. But if I set it at 1, he should start with the next line of dialogue. There we go. Um, and if you guys set this higher than the actual number of dialogues, um, it'll just play the final one. So there's no, no issues running into like errors or anything there. Um, let me skip dialogues really quick. Face player and talk is just whether or not he faces in the direction of the player when you speak to him. And finally, the most important thing here is the dialogue itself. I mean, I guess depending on your writing ability, but <laughs> um, so that's all under the dialogues field. So you can set this to be any size you want. And every element in here, every, every dialogue element has a pages element inside it. So you can also set the pages to be as many pages as you'd like. And every page is a, a different a different page of dialogue. So the first one has two lines, two pages in it. It's, hi, I'm a friendly NPC, and lovely to make your acquaintance. And that'll play, and then that'll close. And then the next time you talk to him, it'll go on to, um, to you ever think philosophical things? Um, and so on and so forth. So you can add as many, as many different dialogues as you would like, and each one of those can be composed of as many pages as you would like. So the last cool thing I wanted to talk about with NPCs is that although there is a template you can use to create NPCs really quickly, all the NPC script really is is an additional component on top of existing characters. So for example, if you want them to be, um, to be an enemy even, or if you want them to take advantage of other features like walking around or jumping, or basically anything else that any other character in Rex Engine can do, you can do that really easily. Um, and if we look inside this NPC here on the left, we can click on his controller and we can see he actually does have an enemy AI script attached to him. Um, and this includes things like, I didn't, I didn't make an animation for him to walk, um, but if he did, you could just enable his enemy AI and under starting movement, you could have this guy walk left, walk right, um, turn when he hits walls, you could make him jump. Basically anything that any other character can do, the NPC can also do. Um, and so if you wanted to have something like a more dynamic town situation where there are NPCs who were running errands or going about their day, um, or if you wanted, you know, I'm just spitballing, like an NPC that turns hostile maybe, all of those things are options that you can do just as you would normally do those in Rex Engine. And I guess if you want an NPC that was also like a hybrid enemy, just double check the tag here. It should be untagged. Um, if it's set to enemy, of course, and it has a contact damage thing on it, it'll hurt you when you touch it, which might make it hard to talk to. Um, and there you have it. That is Rex Engine NPCs. Hope that was helpful, and I'll talk to you guys next time.